food chefs working with him over the years. We talked about hydration and some of the things he had to do before performing and after performing. Uh, we didn't talk about injuries. I think he was doing very well with his chronic back issues. It was mostly his nutrition and hydration. These, these conversations that you had with him, were they, are they reflected in your medical records? Yes. Under, under what type of language? General health issues? Yes. Medical issues we discussed included his physical and emotional strain due to upcoming rehearsal concert schedule, his nutritional and hydration state of health, and his stress related to his profound sleep disorder. At what point did Michael Jackson bring to your attention that he had a sleep disorder? Many years ago. When, when, when did that occur? I would say over 15 or 20 years, I know that sleep was an issue, particularly after performing. He could not come down. Did, did when you, you have known him, you said, for 15 years, or you had, you had at least 15 years, maybe longer. At least 15 or 20 years. This was a problem that he experienced on tours or on a regular basis? I was familiar with it on tours when I was with him. And I treated some sleep issues over the years infrequently. Now, um, which tours are you referring to? Jackson Robinson. Sustained 350, 352. <clears throat> Did you ever travel with Michael Jackson? Jackson Robinson. Overall, you may answer it. Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, were you ever around him during these tours? Jackson Robinson. Sustained. 350, 352. As you can, um, back to the meeting on, or the conversation you had with him on April 18th. You, um, did he mention to you any specific um, medicine that he hoped to obtain for these sleep issues? He asked me about intravenous sleep medicine. Did he happen to mention the name of this medicine? I think he used the word juice. I don't think I heard the word of a specific medication. And did, when he said intravenous sleep medication, what did you think, what was your opinion of what he meant? I'm not sure. It could have been IV Valium. It could have been an anesthetic drug. Uh, I'm not sure what he was asking. Um, you, he, he merely asked you for intravenous sleep medica medication? He did not believe any oral medicine would be helpful. Did he tell you that he had tried oral medicine? Yes. And what was his, what was his, what did he say the success of that was? I don't recall him naming medicines, but I do clearly remember, and from personal experience, many medicines just did not work. Okay. From personal experience, what medicines did not work? Jackson relevance, Your Honor. Overall. I had personally tried him on Tylenol PM in the past. We had tried Xanax to help his anxiety and help him go to sleep. And on that visit, I tried other medication to help him. Which, you're talking about the April 4th, 18th visit? Yes. What medication did you try? I gave him clonopin to be used or trazodone to be used not together. Was there any further discussion of the type of IV medication that Michael Jackson was interested in or looking for? I don't recall, but he did mention he wanted some form of an anesthetic. Well, Dr. Metzger, it would, it would you didn't ask him at that point what type of anesthetic or what type of IV medication? I don't recall asking him specifically about a given medication. Are you familiar with the drug propofol? I am now. On April 18, 2009, were you familiar with that drug? I probably had heard about it from patients having outpatient procedure or surgery. So I was aware of the medication, but not about all the subtleties of the medication. During your treatment of Michael Jackson through the years, you have referred him to outpatient clinics, haven't you? 
I had referred him or worked with plastic surgeons and dermatologists. You have also referred him to uh, anesthesiology clinics? I don't recall a specific anesthesiology clinic. Um, does, um, uh, do you know Dr. Randy Rosen? Yes, I do know Randy Rosen. Who is Dr. Randy Rosen? Randy Rosen is a pain management physician, and Randy and I had worked over the years with Michael in terms of pain management. What kind of pain was Michael Jackson in that needed to be managed? Most of the time it was a chronic back sprain, mostly from overwork, practicing, performing. On a couple of occasions he had injuries. And what kind of, and Dr. Randy Rosen, was he, what was his primary um, specialty? Maybe he is an anesthesiologist by training. I work with him specifically for pain management. Does he, does he, does he, is he involved with the Spalding Clinic in Beverly Hills? Now I think he is. I did work with him at the Spalding Clinic. And what is the Spalding Clinic? It's a group of several physicians who, to my knowledge, do outpatient pain procedures in their suite. <clears throat> what kind of medications were provided to Michael Jackson for this pain? I don't know. The, the objections sustained the partial answer stricken. Disregard. Prior to your, um, your meeting with Michael Jackson on April 18th, d actually during your meeting with, with Michael Jackson on April 18th, did he tell you that he was visiting Dr. Arnold Klein? Visiting Arnold Klein? Yes. During being in Los Angeles at that time? During that period of time, he was in Los Angeles. I presumed that he would see Arnold Klein frequently for dermatologic treatment. Um, you presume that? Why? Objection relevance, Your Honor. Overruled. You may answer. Most of the time, Michael was having mild dermatologic procedures, mild cosmetic issues in treatment of his chronic vitiligo and other skin issues with Dr. Klein. Were you familiar with the treatments that Dr. Klein was providing Michael Jackson in April of 2009? Objection relevance. Sustained. 350, 352. Did, in your conversation with Michael Jackson on the 18th, was there any mention by Michael Jackson of, of taking you to London? No. Did he, he ever mention the need for having a doctor in London for his Yes. Tour? Yes, he did. Did he happen to tell you why he thought he needed a doctor? He was concerned about hydration, he was concerned about sleep, and he was concerned about injuries. Uh, and did he ask for a referral from you? for that? I don't believe he did. I do not know any practicing physicians in London. Uh, well, he, he told you he wanted a doctor. He told you he had sleep difficulties. He told you he wanted IV medication. You didn't have any advice for him at that point other than to prescribe him clonopin and trazodone? I couldn't give him any other advice. In the years prior when Michael Jackson was unable to sleep, do you know how he treated uh, during the concert? You said during concert, after concerts. Do you know how he treated that problem? Objection relevance. Right? Sustained. 350 and 352. I, I, I take it you did not provide him IV medication? Definitely not. All right. And it's a double negative. I did not provide any intravenous medication for Michael Jackson. Thank you. Ever? I would say ever. You, uh, you, your, your testimony today is that, is that in 15 years you have never provided Michael Jackson intravenous medication of any sort. That is my testimony. You, um, you left after after the meeting. You left. Is that right? Yes. Had you did you ever have occasion to speak to Michael Jackson again? 
I don't think so. I gave him instructions about the medicine I prescribed and asked him to get back to me in terms of which medication was helpful. And you say you don't think so. Did you? Is it possible that you spoke to some of his his employees or some of his security staff after that time? Objection relevance, Your Honor. Sustain. 350 and 352. <clears throat> so from April 18th till the time of his death, you did not speak to Michael Jackson. Is that what you're, you're, te you're, you're telling me? I did not speak with Michael Jackson. All right. Um, since his death, have you had occasion to speak to Dr. Arnold Klein about this particular case or about Michael Jackson? Objection yes. relevance, Your Honor. Sustained. Motion to strike. The partial answer stricken. Disregard. All right. Do you have anything else? Dr. Metzger, let me, let me see if we can narrow you down to the time period that you spoke to Michael Jackson on April 18th. Could you give us sort of the, the hours that you would have spoken to him? In person, when I was visiting him? Yes, please. As I, my note reflects about an hour and a half. No, I'm, I'm talking about the, the time. Was it, you, 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 was it 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock? I think it was an afternoon, and I believe it was a weekend. I can't recall any more than that. It was early afternoon, late afternoon? I would say early or middle afternoon. I don't think it was morning. I don't think it was late afternoon. During the 15 years that you treated Michael Jackson, um, you kept medical records, is that right? Yes, I have. And you do have those medical records? I have five pages of medical records since 2002. The, after Michael Jackson's death, you were, you were asked to provide those medical records to the coroner? I provided them to an attorney, and I was never asked to provide anything else. And the, the, the records that you provided to your attorney was, were the five pages that you have in front of you? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chernoff. Cross-examination by the people. Mr. Walgren. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Dr. Metzger, on April 18, 2009, when Michael Jackson inquired about intravenous sleep medication, uh, you explained to him that that was dangerous, life-threatening, and should not be done outside of a hospital, correct? That's correct. Did you ever give Michael Jackson propofol? Never. Is there any amount of money that you would have, uh, that would have convinced you to give him intravenous propofol in his house? Absolutely not. Thank you, Doctor. Nothing further. Mr. Walgan, thank you. To turn off, redirect examination. Dr. Metzger, you told Michael Jackson it was dangerous and should never be given outside of a hospital? That's correct. But you didn't have any idea what medicine he was referring to? Any intravenous anesthetic should not be given in a home. So what Michael Jackson said was, I want an intravenous anesthetic. Or intravenous sleep medication. Well, which one? In my records, I say, quote, intravenous sleep medication. But you have independent recollection of him saying anesthetic. I, I'm not sure. My, my notes reflect sleep medication and anything intravenous was unsafe. Anything intravenous? As a sleep med. Um, you, uh, you didn't broach the subject further? You didn't ask him what kind of medicine or anything of that nature? I don't recall getting into any more detail. All right, thank you. Chernoff, thank you. We crossed by the people, Mr. Walker? No, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. May Dr. Metzger be excused, Mr. Chernoff? Yes. Mr. Uh, Walker? Subject to recall? Yes, Your Honor. Subject to recall? Yes. Dr. Metzger, thank you for your testimony you. of the case. Sir, please don't discuss either your testimony or the facts of the case with any other witness until we finish the trial. 